Good morning. No new babies this morning. I am very grateful for that. Last night, let's see, when did I end the video yesterday? Oh, just after Marble had her baby, which is doing so much better. Hello. Come on, Marble. Love your baby. Please love your baby. Pistachio wants your baby, even though she already has two. We need to go feed out back. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna let these guys settle and I'm hoping once we leave, she'll clean off that lamb. And uh, or Pistachio will do it for her. But I really want her to love her baby. I've been waiting so long for a baby out of her. Please Marble, please love your baby. We headed out back to feed and then we ran up for dinner and that was at like 7.30 I think. And we came back down here at nine, got her on mom. So she drank a bunch and she's still, she's not, she's still drinking. She's, they figured it out. They have finally bonded, maybe not fabulously, but she's not, she's not rejecting it she's not she's just kind of accepting that it's in her life and then we uh as we walked into the barn i, I was looking over i'm like oh she's gonna lamb and danged if her water didn't break just as i said that so i was like well shoot it's okay we'll be here for a little bit anyway well then, as we're trying to get this baby on her mom, Ned was barking and barking and barking and barking. And he was over in the field behind the shop. And I'm like, shoot, that means there's a lamb out there because he does not, he does not bark just to bark. So we headed over there and found the mom and then spent probably 10 minutes walking that field trying to find the lamb. Finally found it, it was super cold. So we brought it in here, put it under heat. So we put her under the heat, the heating mat or heating pad under her, heat lamp over her. And in the time we did that, trying to get her warm, you can see Mama really does not want to leave her. In that time, we had triplets from Chelsea. Huh? Number three, and then this nice big single. So while we waited for this lamb to get warm, we headed back up to the house so that my husband could go to bed since he had to be up at six this morning to go to work. <clears throat> I guess he had to be up at 5.30. I don't know, I just know he had to be to work by like 6.30 or seven. So. Is that a stretch or is that a, I'm going to have a baby? That was just a stretch. That was a big stretch. So got him up to the house and at about 1130, I came back down here to check this lamb and my daughter who is amazing because she doesn't really like the sheep. Um, she offered to come down with me in case there were issues. So she came down and she held the mom while I got the baby under her and this morning it's back under the heat so I'm going to try and get it on mom. I might milk her out this morning um, just to get a little more into her but again she's not throwing a fit like she's hungry so I'm going to call that a win. But yeah I didn't get home I didn't get back to the house till oh probably about 12 30 last night so uh on, as my husband headed out this morning, he came down here and checked things for me and texted me and said, no new babies. And I was like, oh yes, I'm gonna sleep in. And I did. But now it's time to get everybody food, water, and uh, make sure all these lambs are doing good.
So yeah, yesterday was a big day for lambs. Uh, 13 born before midnight yesterday. <laughs> I guess, guess that's all that matters. Um, so it's, we are definitely in the swing of lambing. So I will go ahead and let out a bunch of these ewes today. I need to um, tag and vaccinate and then we will section off part of this barn to be able to put those moms and babies in their own spot and just hope it's another good day of lambs. Realized as I was feeding that um, Ned's not in here. So that means he's behind the shop. And I'm really hoping there's not a lamb out there today. And I also can't remember where I left my coffee. And I really need it. Ned, where have you been? Where have you been hiding? I thought I heard somebody grunt. Maybe it's down on the other end. There's one. There's the other one. Hello. Dumbo, we've been waiting for you all day. Yes, look at you. Let's get you and your babies in. Marble, does this mean you love your baby now? I was pretty worried last night. You didn't want anything to do with her. Here you, sis. You got a water bag. This afternoon, we're going to get some babies. I hear you. And just that fast, I literally walked away to go get Dumbo some water. So with that you, um, that only leaves me with one jug, so I am going to go ahead and tag up one, two, three, four, five moms and their babies. And then we'll close off this section and put them in it. And my daughter is amazing. She's gonna come down and help me, just because. So the lambs are gonna get a blue tag for the boys, a red tag for the girls, and then like this mom that doesn't have a yellow tag, she's gonna get an RFID tag. So. I've got three girls that need tags put in. Two are 22 U's and one is a 2019 U. And then we'll do the babies. And they'll also get a shot of Covexin 8, which is the eight way we use. And then the moms will get that as well and a shot of, or an oral of dewormer.
Понял. Ага. Ты где взял? Ты где взял? Понял? See, now you're really not gonna like me. I'm gonna tuck you in right there. I'm gonna tuck you in right there. You can still see, Mom. Here, hold that for me, will you? Jitters out. Huh. Did we not get all the jitters out? Dude. Oh, I know. Okay, let me look. Let me look. Now I figured you didn't want everybody to see that I went up you on this. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Okay, well, we're gonna do her shot. Where'd you put it? It's on the thing. Oh. She's pretty calm. You won't have an issue with her. Okay. Um, we'll do her tags after we get the lambs. Okay. Be released now. Go. Go. She doesn't care. <laughs> My kid is a rock star. She may not like the sheep, but she loves the lambs. And she really, she really enjoys tagging and vaccinating the lambs. Don't ask why, I don't know. And <laughs> She likes it even better when she can do it by herself without my help and can show me up about how easy she can do it, which is great because I can do it, but I prefer to have somebody helping just in case things go sideways. So yeah, we got all five of those moms and their lambs done and then, so, and then shut that panel and got the lambs out, lambs and moms out on that side so it's going to make feeding a little tighter in that bigger section um, because i just lost about 30 ewes worth of headspace and uh, we only put out five ewes so i probably could have shrunk it but that would have meant moving a lot more panels this way i only had to put one panel back up it'll be fine because tomorrow i've got like i think five more that need to go out and then on Sunday, a couple more. And then every day from here on out, we're just going to have some that we're going to have to put out in that group. So it'll fill up quickly. But um, just the two ewes today. The one had boy and girl, and the other one, the lamb just a bit ago, uh, had two boys. So slower day today. That's okay. 13 lambs yesterday was plenty for me to deal with. I'm kind of hoping that they don't wait till 9 o'clock again tonight to start lambing, but if they do, oh well, that's why I'm here. So I'm going to get cleaned up and probably start feeding or hauling hay or doing something. Stay productive. Found this you trying to have a baby while I was feeding, so I pulled her out and put her in here but she's making absolutely no progress. It's been like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna just give her a hand.
Come on, Mama. This is why I hate pulling lambs. Come on, Mom. All right, I'm gonna let her settle. Maybe she'll go over to it if I leave, and I'm gonna finish feeding. better he hasn't been chasing the lambs but boy is he sure interested but he's staying put 